And we welcome you back to the Pioneer Post Game Report here with Coach JT Burton. Tusculum pulls off the 81-80 win over nationally ranked UNC Pembroke. Just walk me through with the last play, Connor Jordan, the game winner with 2.6 seconds left. Well, Connor, come over to the side. You know, I mean, this team is really learning themselves. And uh, he came to the side, and he said, Coach, they're not going to switch on him. And he said, give me the ball. I'm going to win it. And he got to a sweet spot. And that's that little 17-footer right there. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I mean, he works on it every single day. You know, it's crazy. Going into the half, he was one for six, and he was one for 12 of the last uh, three quarters, two or three halves of the game. And uh, he kind of yeah. started off kind of rocky coming out of halftime, but we settled in, and that second half, he just took it over, man. Yeah, it's awesome. And especially just the tale of two halves for you guys really left a lot of points up uh, in terms of free throws. What were you able to adjust, adjust and talk to the guys about at halftime? One thing we did is at halftime, I got the best assistant coaches in the, in the country, man, because it always helped to have, you know, guys that play for you like Nick Porter, Brandon Johnson. But uh, Justin Chartrand and uh, John McAllister and Jackson Miller, I can go on and on. Uh, Sean Moran, my strength coach, they all, we all got together and they just kind of told us like game plan what they was doing. And we made an adjustment on uh, a couple of things, especially they was calling the play called strong when it was driving the ball. Uh, they were sealing us, so we made an adjustment on that. And uh, I thought the guys, one thing his team does is really good job is taking the game plan from practice, shoot around, from film to the floor, to the game. That's what they did, especially the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a big, big time win. They're ranked number eight in the, in the coaches poll, ranked 24th in the uh, – CSC poll. How can you build upon this win? You're two and one now. You're going uh, next week. You're going to play. We, we got we got uh, North Georgia. North Georgia at home on yes. Tuesday. How are you guys going to build upon this and continue to build uh, throughout these next couple they, weeks? Winning these games, especially people, you know, don't understand what it takes you do because when you get a lot of new guys that's gelling and then, you know, everybody's got to accept the role, whether it's the role that's sitting on the bench, not playing, cheering on, or a role coming out here and scoring, playing 40 minutes a game. And I thought that was really big that what our team done. And uh, after the game, I went to Raekwon because I didn't start. I didn't play him all second half. And he was a catalyst on the bench, like leading his team. So that right there is huge, man. So we'll ride on that. We'll watch the film. We got a lot of things we got to clean up in our zone. But it was a really good job of these guys to stand poised, staying calm. And this crowd right here, when you first started, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know everybody was going to come. But yeah. uh, everybody showed up, so I really appreciate it. And then, you know, I have to say, when I get the interview with QB1 here, this guy right here made my day, baby. All right, thank you, Coach. I appreciate uh, you, man. Pioneers knock off UNC Pembroke 81-80. to They'll be at home next against North Georgia, 5.30, Tuesday, November 21st. He's JT Burton, and the Pioneers win. Pioneers win. That'll do it for our Pioneer postgame interview with head coach JT Burton as the Pioneers knock off UNC Pembroke 81-80. Bad man.